What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. Today we're going to be talking about some new Super Bowl Pass players that have been dropped. Now, I'm going to give you the names of all three and we're only going after one and you guys can probably already figure out why it's necessary for the one that we're going after. Derek Brooks, Malcolm Smith, and uh, Lane Johnson, uh, Super Bowl pass right tackle, Super Bowl pass left outside linebacker with Malcolm Smith, Super Bowl pass right outside linebacker. Now, with the way everything is working right now, I don't really care about Derek Brooks. Uh, I'm going to explain to you guys why. I don't even think, is he part of anything that's going on in the sets? I didn't check it. I just know that EA Sports um, announced that it was there. Okay, so they do have stuff going on there. All right, did they reduce the amount of stuff that's necessary? Oh, yeah, that's smart because, hold on, which one was it with the 14? They had one, was it this one? Yeah, that's way too much, guys. I would avoid this like the plague. Plus the nine of the 89 to 93. What did they have with the past? Um, they have 88 to 92. So you could probably snipe some 88s and probably get lucky with one of the past heroes and maybe complete one of these sets. But in all honesty, maybe Gene Upshore. Uh, Gene Upshore would be um, a decent left guard. He's obviously way better than Bruce Matthews, but we'll look at that later. Um, this guy right here, we're going to go take a look at some of the cards that go into his set. Now, we already have the Lane Johnson because Lane Johnson is going to be the upgradable part about what we're trying to do. What you could do, because I'm going to use him as a gnat, um, you could actually go through the sets, complete it, and get this guy if he was, um, you know, if, if his price... Uh, kind of equates to what it's going to be for like that this guy is 290 and stuff like that let's go see what the other price let's go see what Derek Brooks is going for because honestly he's a zone type linebacker he's not going to be doing anything uh you know really really good for your squad as far as stopping the run and most people are not going to pass the ball why because the game is not geared for passing so they're going to run the ball eye tight eye wing strong wing things like that are going to happen and you're going to have to deal with it like a man or whatever bro like you, listen it doesn't matter what you want you know what I'm saying? The game is what it is right now. And um, you're going to have to just understand that that's the way EA has laid it out for you. So we're going to go over here. And um, because I've already purchased before the video started, he's only 448. All right. So realistically speaking, for me at this point, it doesn't make any sense for me to spend an additional, um, you know, 600K uh, to go ahead and get a card for like four. You know what I'm saying? And then we, obviously we get back the other training, but this one right here, I don't recommend unless for whatever reason you get lucky inside of the pass players and then you pull it, okay? If you pull it out of this pass uh, Super Bowl set, that's fine if you get one or two, but I actually paid uh, for that card. So if you wanted to go over here and deal with this one and see what you can get out of it, because remember, I recommend getting a couple just because of what happened with Mel Renfro. If EA makes a mistake and the cards are not inside of these packs, more than likely they'll make a, you know, they'll do a make right or something like that. So I always recommend to you guys to go ahead and do this. So because I recommend it, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that I do it as well. We'll get like four of them and see what happens. And then, you know, pretty much we'll be done with it. So we got an 82. That's great. Let's go ahead and quick sell him. We'll get like three more. Um, and then we'll go ahead and see what else we can do. Uh, obviously with everything, the way that it's going right now, um, if your old line is not up to par, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and start, you know, looking into getting some of the players that we're going to be talking about in this video, because it's very, very important with the way that a lot of you guys have been letting me know, like, yo, Jemai, I'm winning so many games in Weekend League. That makes me so happy, bro. Like, I'm like, oh my God, what can I do to make you guys get even better? So uh, we're going to go over the lineup in a second. We'll get one more. Like I said, I promise you guys I'll do at least four because some of you guys that only did one did not get a Mel Renfro. Meanwhile, the other people got like two or three of them. You see what I'm saying? So with the way that this is right now, I just wanted to kind of go ahead and break it down for you. As long as you open one or two or whatever like that, no, two or three, I would say two or three, because some of you guys that only opened one reported that you did not get a free Mel Renfro. I don't, listen, I can't prove that you guys actually did it. So if you tell me without valid proof, like if you send me a picture that you actually had it on Twitter, you know, I would submit it. But they know everything that we do because everybody's account they can just go through your account by your username and see what you opened and what you didn't open. They become very, very sophisticated. It's not like back in the day when it first started. So if you guys lie to get cards, they'll see that you're lying. It's not like it's something like, oh, bro, I did it. No, they know. So even if it is a mistake, 
because I remember when they messed up the thing with the training and they took away our abilities and then some of us had mishaps and then I reported that no, our backups also had abilities and physical chems and then they gave us another grant for training. Sometimes there can be an, it can be an error. But you want to make sure that you're not making up stories because, you know, obviously, you know, they'll be like, yo, all right, this, this dude right here. But look, I'm going to just go, go ahead and show you guys. I spent 334 to get the Lane Johnson because I want that card right now. I didn't want to wait around and try to pull packs and do all that foolishness. And this is the reason that I want him right now. When you go to his card, right, I'm going to show you the previous uh, card that he was um, with the way that we had him before, right, with this one. And then you guys may notice that I have him at tight end. I already explained that before, but I'll explain it again. Pretty much it makes it easier for any of my sets that he's already at the tight end position and I can maneuver the rest of my O-line to put guys in the best positions to actually, you know, just run the ball down my opponent's throat. But let's go to his actual last card, right? And we're gonna take a look at some of the things that are going on. Now, this is what he is right now at Terry, uh, this is what he's gonna be at Terry Levin. This is what he is right now. This is what before we put anything into him. Now I'm gonna scroll down and show you guys the most important parts of what you'll see in regular Mutt. Impact block and lead block is very, very huge. That kind of overtakes the, um, the whole run block and everything like that after you get to like a 90. You see what I'm saying? So he has a 90, a 92, and a 92. Now when you go to this one, his run block jumps to 93, 95, 95. Now remember, the chemistries and the things that you get from John Madden coach are so unbelievably huge that you need to understand the power that it does with your squad. When you start to add, um, you know, John Madden coach updates with the run, the run game and stuff like that, the things that it does to your old line, it makes it insane. So at this point right now, if you guys just got the game, you're probably like, yo, what am I supposed to do? I haven't even grinded for any of these collectibles for John Madden coach, what am I supposed to do? Your best bet, if you have the time, is to play as many um, you know, head-to-head -head games as you possibly can, get as many trophies as you can, and do the best that you can. Because what's going to happen is, sooner or later, they're going to release these other coaches that'll give you like different attributes. Like, you know how they've done it in the past, they're giving you coaches that just outright add speed, outright add other abilities. They may do that because everybody doesn't get the game at the same time, and EA is well aware of that, so they try to do other things to... Um, you know, make it so that you could be part of the game as the game gets more intense. Because now, as we know, Patrick Mahomes won the MVP. So it's going to be 99s running around soon. We're going to have Ultimate Legends. Some of you guys are asking me about a video with that. I will get to you guys uh, very, very soon. Uh, but now, not only that, you see the speed threshold. He's Right now, I have him at an 83 speed with the chems. He's going to jump up to an 85 speed. Um, his catching, do they show his catching here? I don't think they show it. But he can catch the ball. And, you know, he's a lineman that's very, very unique because he's so fast, which is, which is why it's so good to have him at tight end. Because he's going to go out there and run, you know, he'll run a drag and catch it, and he has that speed to actually move. And it really throws off the defense that you're playing against because they're like, yo, this guy is absolutely running the ball every play. Nah, I don't, though. You see what I'm saying? I will throw a dot every now and again, like a drag. I'll throw like a slant whatever and he'll run that route pretty decently even though he has no route running i don't know why it works i can't explain it it doesn't really matter to me it is what it is ultimately i would recommend that you get this guy because not only do you get him to this final tier you now open up the fact that he can get dual stuff like before this was locked on the bottom and i couldn't get like you know nasty streak and run block elite now i can get both i keep identifier on him simply because you know, he's a guy that is going to definitely make some really, really wild plays. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do right now. Because of my center position, I also have um, abilities on my center position. And I took it off my quarterback. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to remove this ability. And I'm going to also give him run block elite because he's a tackle. So because he can play tight end, it's good to have him with these things. Because we can move him around and do it, let him do whatever he wants. Now, for my other old lineman that I have abilities on what i'm going to do now is this i'm going to simply change up what's going on now look you see how we jumped to a 98 from a 95 and he keeps his oh he keeps the um the overall he's similar to george kittle but he's a monster run blocker i just want you guys to understand that and then he keeps everything the way it's supposed to be simply because we have him you know in a regular his regular position so as long as you have a slot for him in his regular position, when you put him someplace else and he's out of position, he'll still keep the chems. 
all right? He doesn't have a slot where he actually can play that position. He's not like Larry Allen. You see how Larry Allen is right here and I don't need to have him at right guard? That's because Larry Allen has what's called a secondary position. So I paid for it so he can play right tackle and keep his chems. Please note that if you put somebody in a, um, you know, a backup position in your lineup, you can put them at someplace else and they keep their overall, keep all their abilities and keep everything else because they're actually in their real position. Notice as well that he's a right tackle at 97 and a 98 at tight end. Just keep that in mind. So we're not going crazy. I've been doing this for three, four months. You guys think I was crazy. He, he, he makes the tight end position so wild. All right, and I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. Now, with Kevin Mawai, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to give him identifier and take off the run block elite. Now, he had run block elite on uh, as a dual thing uh, with the, um, the nasty streak because my tackle couldn't get it before. Now that Lane Johnson can get it, I have to have identifier because identifier is just so useful and just, you, you gotta know where your opponent is. I'm telling you guys right now, I know you guys think like, Yo, bro, yo, what are you talking about? Yo, identifier changes the game, bruh. Like, it, it really does. Oh, he could get times two now. All right, we're gonna give him times two brawler, as a matter of fact, but it really changes the game knowing where your opponent is. Like, this is very, very important. A lot of you guys have like, yo, g -Mai, I can't even play without identifier once you put me on. It's very, very useful. It, it, it definitely is. So even though we're gonna be foregoing, um, you know, having dual run block elite and, you know, having the other thing with the um, nasty streak, which like I said, after EA patched it, the reason that I put it on my center is because I want to have somebody that's kind of universal with that ability in the middle because they get up the field and as long as they're in their natural position, they will trigger that. They will absolutely 100% trigger that animation where they pancake players. You just can't do it. He won't be able to do it as a tight end with Nasty Streak. He'll hold his blocks, he just won't be able to do it, you know, thoroughly the way that we want him to do it with the pancakes. All right, now, as we look at our O-line, I want you guys to understand, I don't really have an issue with the, um, with the fact, the way that, you know, Larry Allen is only a 93, because once anything else drops that I really, really want, um, we'll just put him back where he's supposed to be. But right now, I don't really have a right tackle I don't like the right tackles that are available right now. Even with all the NFL 100, I, I don't like them. So when I get one that I like, I'm gonna actually replace Larry Allen. But Larry Allen is a dog because he's so strong and he's able to move around suitable enough. Now, this is a this is a lineman, guys. He is a, this guy is a glitch, bro. 85 speed, he can't catch it. Yo, bro, he couldn't catch a cold butt naked in the winter with a 53 catch, but he catches the ball anyway. If you throw a drag to him, he's gonna catch the ball. That's all I'm saying. And you can see he has the run block, he has the impact block, he has the lead block. So with those things that he has, he's going to definitely make a difference. Now, 98 impact blocking, I would love to get uh, the 99, and then he's gonna get a 98 also with this, right, I believe. Yeah, so he's 98, 90, 98, 98. But those are the key things that's gonna make him just pummel guys in front of him. You know, I just wanna make sure I'm very, very clear with that um, as you guys go ahead and upgrade the way your O-line is. now. Getting back to the rest of the O-line, you're going to notice that these guys all have certain things that I, you know, utilize very, very well. Like uh, Chris Lindstrom, who's a rookie premier. And by the way, I believe that the rookie premier upgrades are over because it's, Febu it's February. I think you only get to upgrade them up until February. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. So any new upgrades that you guys get is not going to be part of, like, you know, like Nick Bosa with his honors card. That card is not going to be part of the rookie premier. Um, he won't just automatically go up. I'm just letting you guys know that I believe that they say I believe it's set on the card that it stops in February So just so you guys are aware of that Bruce Bruce Matthews now this guy right here He right now is a trash can and we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing with him But that's not what this is about. Are we going to upgrade him right now? That's the key thing that you guys are worried about like I said because we're trying to build our run game to just be virtually unstoppable now as you guys can see, a lot of the top winners in competitive Madden, they're runners, all right? And that's why I've been telling you guys this for months and months and months to make sure that your O-line is suitable. Now, some of you guys will look at my O-line and say, yo, this is kind of trash, bro, but these guys have what I'm looking for. And the reason that I pointed out Chris Lindstrom and why he actually starts is because even though his 90 run block and 93 run block power looks rather pedestrian, he has lead block, all right? And I think it's 99. Let me go over and check it out. Okay, he has 96 impact block, and I think he has 99 lead block with all the chems. 
So that actually shows ridiculously, as you can see right there, when you're playing in an online head-to-head -head game, it actually shows. So everybody has a system. Now, Bruce Matthews, this dude right here, when you compare him to, um, you know, uh, the other guy that we were talking about that we're gonna go take a look at, Gene Upshaw, he looks kind of trash, all right? But he, he still does what he's supposed to do. Is he garbage though? I don't know, I can't really say that because the dude pretty much holds his blocks. And some of you guys were talking about Joe Thomas as well. Joe Thomas kind of hold, he, he holds up for now with what he does. Will we have to make some moves? Probably, you know what I'm saying? We probably would have to make some moves, but I don't know if it's that much of an emergency to go ahead and run up and do that, all right? We'll check the price right now, but remember he has, I think he has a previous card also that you would have to get. So it'll be a decent amount. And then you guys know that um, you know, Ultimate Legends are on the way. So if you were to do that at this point, it probably wouldn't be too smart to do it. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick and see what he's doing. All right, let's go. Um, all right, so that's the that's the original Legend. That's his, that one there, 167, and you got this one. All right, so look, where he is right here, if you compare him to Bruce Smith, right? Um, I mean, Bruce Matthews, my, my bad. He already starts off at a 92 strength. This guy is powered up, so right there this is before we add like the physical chems so he's gonna get a little bit more strength all the stuff like that you see his run block though this guy's run block it'll go to a 96 and more than likely with the run block from john madden coach and um if we were to use well, we use power run but if you were to use zone run that would go to a 99 um there will be other things that he has that'll probably go to a 99 so because he's so far ahead with those tiers he would be a guy that you could probably look at like you know what? We probably should go after that guy because he would go to 95 plus. I think he would get he would go to 98 also, right? Because he's at 94. So he power up to 95, get the three. He would go to 98 with that. And then he would go to what with, with this other one? Hold on. Where is he at? He would go to lead block. He would be a 99 lead block. So that would be a major, major factor for us in the run game because obviously the more players with lead block of 99 the final tear like it's on bro is nothing you can really do about it so these are the kind of things you have to look at now you can be patient and just say you know what i'm not gonna rush into this i'm not gonna go ahead and you know continue to make my o-line you know the most powerful thing in the world because the ultimate legends will be released and we have to wait to see how they do it but if you wanted to go ahead and sell bruce matthews for gene upshaw it wouldn't be an issue in my opinion um, he actually would be the better card at this moment, but you would eventually have to sell him You know what I'm saying? Like you would eventually have to sell him because you know when the ultimate legends drop it's gonna be on It is what it is guys. However, you want to do it You can see he's down to 310 and nobody's buying him Everybody's trying to figure out how to keep beefing that old lineup to the maximum capacity. That's what it's all about so you know, whichever way you decide to go with it, I just want you guys to understand. You want it, Lane Johnson because of his, you know, his dual threat capability of being a tight end and being that high overall, having the speed, but being able to move around on the field like that, you are going to win more games. You are absolutely gonna win more games. I don't know where we finished off in weekend league. Hold on, let's go check what we did uh, this past weekend league. Um, and remember, this week you'll get on Friday you'll get your monthly rewards. You only needed 60, uh, 61 plus to actually, um, you know, get top 100 rewards. So I just want to point out we got 22 wins. Where are we in the top 100? I don't know where we are. Let's see what happened. Okay. Um, yo, wow. Okay, this guy got 24. Okay, bro. I had one DC and I had two real losses. All right, so we got 20. All right, cool. So we'll see how that works out with our rewards and what we'll get from that. Plus, in addition, we'll also get the uh, monthly rewards on Friday. So we'll have the opportunity to continue to beef up our squad. What we should be doing right now, though, before I let you guys go, is finishing up those house rules and getting another uh, present player, that Nat, because that's going to be very, very important as we go forward. So I want you guys, oh, not I don't want, I would like for you guys to go ahead and, you know, stomach that house, that head to head house rules and get them done and get that free player because I think it'll be important. Now, as far as me going to get Gene Upshaw, I really, really want my run game to be maximally OP. Um, it is a chance that we would actually do it. Um, is it going to get done? That remains to be seen, but I guarantee you this, this guy will beef up your line. He's, look, this guy Lane Johnson, bro, he's gonna make your, put put the dude at tight end and just, just run stretch, man. You know what I'm saying? Let 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 your let your let the other guy that you're playing against 
uh, run commit and then make sure you have play action handy to start throwing deep passes, bro. That's what you need to do. But this card right here, low key, they made him a 98 just so that, you know, you would still have to work forward to get the 99. But um, ideally, he's going to probably get to a 99 somehow, some way, maybe with the next thing that we get as an addition to John Madden coach, maybe adding some agility or something to him will get him up there really high. But I really, really like this. As far as Derek Brooks um, and the other card, Matthew, what is it? What is it? Matthew, whatever he, whatever he was, I don't really care about it. You know what I'm saying, bro? We got to figure out how, we, how we're going to do what we're going to do. Malcolm Smith and Derek Brooks, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a no for me, dog. If you guys like it, let me know. But the Lane Johnson is suitable enough now to even withstand what happens with the Ultimate Legends. Because I doubt that we're going to get another 85 speed right tackle that also has those kind of attributes. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.